G'day folks, in this video I'm making a brass fitting. It has two o-ring grooves, a circlip groove and is drilled and tapped quarter NPT. As I often do, here I'm turning brass with an insert for aluminium. They work really well. Now we move on to cutting the o-ring grooves and finishing the profile with the parting tool. Here I'm using a Sumitomo 2mm wide GF style insert. This was what the bottom of the o-ring grooves looked like on my first part. I didn't see how badly damaged the insert was when I set the job up. My inserts don't normally get abused like this. But then I remembered I did a job in mild steel and the coolant stopped. And I had sparks coming off the machine. Never seen that before. This is what a new GF insert looks like. That face coming down from the edge is actually 30 degrees of rake, which is why it's a low cutting force insert. This is how the bottom of the grooves looked once I'd put a new insert in. This insert is like a threading insert, but it's made to cut a groove for a one mil circlip. Slow down to allow narration. This is my Kenner Metal parting tool, 1.6 wide insert and able to part up to 41 diameter. If you think my tool changes look really fast, they're not. It's just that I edit it out so you don't go to sleep. Now we change from my analog lathe, which uses DOS as its operating system, to my digital lathe, which uses um, Windows as its software. This lathe is geared down so that 1660 is its top speed. This is an attempt to get more torque for the tapping. Here I'm boring a tapered hole for the quarter NPT tap. I like to think it takes less torque than just a straight 11mm drilled hole. I may be wrong but I really don't care because that bored tapered hole really does give me a nice thread. And if you're wondering what this fitting is for, it's to take coolant to a converter in an autogas system.